Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on volume of cylinder and sphere. Uh, it's been sent to me by an IGCSC student and as you can see, it's not very clear here. So I've had to recopy the whole thing. And as we see on the right hand side, essentially we've dropped this sphere into this cylinder of a total height of 45 centimeters. And the cylinder, has, the cylinder has got water to the height of 36 centimeters. Now, as a result of dropping this sphere into the cylinder, water rises to a height of 5 centimeters. And we're asked to calculate the radius of this sphere that has dropped in here. Okay, right. Now, from the outset, you say to yourself, well, why was this, do we need, do we actually need this 45 centimeters? Now for this calculation, we don't need it at all. Right, so now we, we need to find the volume of this new cylinder created. Now the area is pi r squared, which is same as the, sorry, the cross-sectional area of this cylinder is still the same as, as the cross-sectional area of the cylinder itself. So it's, so we now got um, pi r squared h prime. Now h prime being this new height here. And we get something like uh, pi times 30 squared times five centimeter cubed. Now the volume of a sphere is four over three pi r cubed. If we then equate this to that one there, we end up with uh, 4 over 3 pi r cube is equal to pi times 30 squared times 5. The pi's will cancel out from both sides. If we then multiply the left hand side and the right hand side, uh, each by 3 quarters, so the 4 over 3 on the left hand side here, that will disappear. So we end up with r cube is equal to 3 over 4 times 30 squared times 5. And that gives us a figure of 3,375. If we then take cube root of both sides, uh, the cube root of three cube, sorry, the cube root of r cubed is r. Um, so the cube root of 3,375 is 15. So r, so the radius of the sphere is 15 centimeters. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and I hope it all makes sense to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.